What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the One Up Brain channel. And I'm here to bring you a story time. Not just a regular story time. Uh, it's about how I became a middle linebacker for my junior college football team. So this all started about five years, or not five years ago, back in 2015. Uh, I had a friend that I went to middle school with in Arizona. He hit me up asking me if I wanted to play football in Tucson. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, since then, I graduated I graduated high school in 2015, and or not 20, 2014, my bad. Uh, and then afterwards, I tried out for the Grossmont Community College football team. Um, I didn't make it because I'm buns. And so, you know, I was hurt. I was down and out because since then I was playing football since I was 13 and football has been my favorite sport you know since forever you know football basketball baseball lacrosse I just love sports but football was the one I truly loved but as that being said since I didn't make the Grossmont team uh, I took a year off so then I was 175 pounds when I graduated high school and I was like, you know what, let me get in the gym, get right. So I spent the next three months bulking up, not really bulking up, but just getting muscle. I went from 175 to 185 in muscle. So I felt pretty confident. And then around Easter of 2015, uh, my homie from a long time ago hit me up. No, I saw him at the mall, and I haven't seen him since I was in sixth grade. So that's been years prior. And so then uh, he hits me up like months later saying that uh, that team in Tucson is coming together for guys who didn't make their teams or who just graduated, didn't get that much film out to you know universities. So it's a it's a prep school team. I was like, cool, why not? And fortunately, my parents, they let me uh, move down to Tucson. And that's how it started. All righty. So, it all starts. We had about, oh yeah, the team was, was called Arizona Prep Sports Academy. And the name of the school, or the team, we were the Phoenix. It was pretty weird. But it was a startup uh, junior college team, and out the gate we had we had literally 82 guys on the roster, which was great, you know, because average you know college teams they have like 100, they have 99 guys, maybe more, maybe less, but we had, we had a good amount of people, which is good because you want to have rotations so everybody can get playing time. You know, unless if you're injured or, you know, you don't have the grades. But that didn't matter for this team. It was a scam. And but all in all, I had good experience with it. First, I tried out for safety. And I would have been in rotation with this, with the other guy at free safety. And then the, uh, then the linebacker coach, he wanted me to move down to outside linebacker. Which I didn't have a problem because when I played uh, in high school, I was the deputy which is the strong safety outside linebacker hybrid and my senior all they had me doing was just blitz and getting the coverage and cover two and cover three which i hated because i wanted to move around more but i didn't speak up that's one of my major regrets that i have in my life so yeah so as i continue you know we're practicing this tucson it is freaking hot we First, we were practicing at six, six in the six at night, which was good because, um, you know, that's when the sun went down. It was still like a hundred some degrees, you know, but at least the sun's down. So we did those practices, and then, uh, then like a few weeks later, <laughs> the local Pop Warner team they had practice, so they had to move us up from six o'clock to four o'clock. And you know, if you live anywhere that's that's freaking hot, especially Arizona, uh, you know, 
two two to five or two to six is like peak heat time so yeah it was like 110 105 degrees we're just first first two weeks we're just running without pads doing a lot of conditioning you know it killed me it killed me the first week but i got used to it i got asthma you know most of you that know me personally know my asthma has been one of my biggest flaws 82 guys on the team which had a that's about two to three rotations for each position you know o-line d-line linebackers safeties corners running backs and sometimes even qbs receivers running backs tight ends depending so that was pretty good so as you know we're going along in our training camp you know everybody's still we're all going strong defense hitting drills offense just you know learning the plays getting it down and we had talented guys you know these were guys that were coming from that were most of them were you know they're they graduated that year so prior they they had their season uh, a lot of guys a lot of teams they were state champions most of those guys they played in Arizona which is very different from California where I played and where I went to high school and all that you know depending on how good your team you can go to state in California since there's so many teams so many districts uh, for the most part you will only your championship will be CIF and you know in other states you know if you go all the way you win a state champion California you got to be literally the best of the best to be a state championship in and all the divisions out there California I think it's similar I don't know if it's similar to Texas and Florida since those are big the biggest football uh, states in the country but that's how it was in California and so since a lot of the a lot of the players you know they're on good teams or they're the star players on their team so you know they got the starters everybody's doing good you know, we got guys from Arizona, I believe a few guys. We had a good group of guys from Florida. Uh, I think I was, no, me and two other guys, we were from California. I'm originally from Arizona, but that's where my family lived at, at the time, California. And rest Arizona. So it was cool, you know, meeting different guys from different parts of the country and just, you know, just learning more, playing, and all that. All right, so let's get it into it. How I truly became a middle linebacker. As you all know, I am five foot seven, five foot eight, depending. You know, depending if I got my Air Max, my Air Max is on. You know, I stay at a good, healthy five eight. Uh, but normally I'm five foot seven. And I was 185. I bulked up to 190 pounds, so I was pretty. I was pretty solid. I'm 215 now, but you know that was when I was 19. So I was outside linebacker, rotating with with like four other outside linebackers, and I was doing my thing. You know, held it down, blitzed, uh, got into coverage if needed. But most of the time, it was they just ran the ball on us. Uh, so our first official game we played Pima Community College and in 2015 they were ranked I believe 24 in the nation which is amazing all those guys were freaking huge the running back had to have been 6'1 looked like a good solid 215 220 pounds uh, he had dread so that added an extra uh extra five points to his overall and our guys we were literally there were some tall guys but they weren't big and stocky our o-line and d-line they were they were big but they weren't you know like the average junior college normal college size teams pima community college crushed us 83 to 2 yes you heard that right 83 to 2 we scored, or we got our two points from a blocked, a blocked uh, 
point after touchdown. And a guy took it back to the house and we got it. That was our two points. So that's how that happened. Following Monday on that practice, about 50 guys quit. Because those guys, you know, like I said before, those guys, they were previous either state champions or they had good records. So they weren't used to losing. If not losing, losing that bad. Me, I don't really care about winning or losing as long as I get to play and get them out because my goal is to go to the next level, you know, university. So, you know, I didn't care how, because co college universities, they don't really care about how much you lose by it. They just want to see how you perform and how your grades are, if you're a coachable player and, you know, and you're able to do good for them. And if you're able to make plays, that's all that matters, you know, next next man up. They don't care if you go 0 and, 0 and 10, as long as you perform and produce, and you're a good accommodation to the team. That's all these colleges want from you. So, so I didn't really care we lost that much, but other guys did, because like I said, they weren't used to losing. And so, about 50 guys quit. So we were down to about 30 to 32 players. <sighs> so that's so we we're doing our team stretches. I was cool with the defensive coach. Um, the linebacker coach I was like coach let me uh oh yeah the linebacker coach his his younger brother was the middle linebacker and he was an older dude he was like I think like 24 and he hasn't played football years prior so why he quit I don't know I was just joking with the coach saying coach let me play a middle backer and he said yeah okay and then <laughs> we go to defensive period and then he calls me, he's like, Young, you're going to go to middle backer. I was like, wait, me? I was like, Coach, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, fam. I'm 5'7", 190 pounds. What do you want me to be middle linebacker for? He's like, just, he's like, he's like, I see something. I'm like, okay. So I just saw, I learned the plays. I, I like the experience because it helped me understand football more on the defensive side. Because one, I have to call the plays, I have to know the plays, uh, audible if needed. So I was that guy for the defense. And I was literally the shortest guy on the defense. Everybody else was either 5'9 or up to 6'3. Or, yeah, yeah, we had a few corners that were tall and uh, our free safety, I think he was like 6'1. But they're all faster than me. So, you know, it played to my advantage. I'm, I wasn't the fastest, but I knew the plays and I could stuff holes. <laughs> wow. I see the gap, I go to it. So that's pretty much it. You know, blitz the A gap, B gap, regularly the C gap. That would be the, uh, the left or right side linebacker. They would have to blitz those gaps and then coverages, watch the quarterback stay in the deep middle zone so it was pretty simple but thing was since I'm so short and the other teams offensive line those guys are like six five 300 plus so I couldn't see I could see the quarterback but I can't see the running back once the play starts so I just have to hit the goal or I have to hit the gap and hopefully it gets clogged up and then they got to go to the opposite hole where it opens up and the other linebacker and the safe they can fill. But I did, I did my thing, you know, made a few tackles the first game. I did all right. Um, but it mainly, I just got pancaked probably like four times a game because I'll get double teamed by the center and the guard the tackle because those guys were quadruple my size put together but you know I held my own I didn't chicken out but it was fun it was fun <coughs> and so you know each as each game goes by we played against uh, we we're supposed to play 10 games but due to us being a new program it interfered with the other team's schedule so 
a lot of teams they have to drop our game so we only played six games that season which was uh pima community college eastern arizona community college we played arizona christian university twice it was their uh actually no just once we played them once we played their jv team because uh NAIA schools and Division three schools, since they have a lot of they have a lot of guys on their teams, but they still want their guys to get uh, experience, so they will have a JV team for those guys, and they'll either play semi-pro teams or they'll play junior college teams. So we play Arizona Christian. I was at middle linebacker then. I had a fumble. I forced a fumble on the quarterback. And I believe I had like nine tackles. I was on one that game. It was we we lost by two touchdowns because the our offense wasn't really good. So a lot of turnovers happened, but hey, I did my damn thing. And we played uh <laughs> we we played a semi pro team twice on the in the second time was our last game. I had an interception, read the quarterback's eyes, got it. Or no, let me let me go back to the beginning of that game. Or before I got the interception. So our team, we fumbled. And they recovered it. So then I get I get back on there. I said, I'm gonna get this ball back. One way or another. I don't know if I was gonna force a fumble, you know, get a three and out. But the quarterback, I dropped in the coverage, and the quarterback he was not good and he thought he he thought he looked off looked off me which is you know quarterback's going he's reading he's reading a guy a defender but he's going to throw it somewhere that's open you know you'll see a lot happen with Patrick Mahomes and Rodgers they do that all the time and guys that play football they know you know a quarterback will look you off thinking that he sees you but you're not paying attention to your your opponent the receiver, anybody that's open. So he thought he looked me off and he threw it in my direction and, and I got the interception. So yeah, that's how it was. So yep, we played we played three games. We were a three and three. Uh, I moved back to California and in 20, 2016, I tried out for the other uh, San Diego Community College, which was Mesa Community College. I didn't make it. Well, I made it, but I was going to have the gray shirt, which is red shirting for a community college. They call it gray shirt. So, you know, politics happens like no other guys coming from out of town. Like I was only there from from the beginning of summer all the way down to to the training camp before they give you gear and then there's guys coming from out of town out of state who's getting gear i'm like they haven't been here all summer they're in those coaches be like if you're here all summer and you're putting in work you know you're gonna get equipment so i was thinking i'm gonna get some equipment and actually play but nope i was garbage so then i took another year off upset sick and just went back to school, got my grades up, and then uh, I got in contact with Arizona Christian University. Shouts out to Coach Dwayne Thompson. Hope he's doing good. Got in contact with him. Caught a Greyhound back up to Arizona to uh, to see the school. Took a tour. I signed my letter of intent, but we just couldn't afford it because I was a transfer student and from a small NAIA school they can only give you so much for scholarships and since I was a transfer student as well they'll give you less than you know guys who are coming out of high school so that sucked um, so I couldn't play for them that year then I went to go play semi-pro for the San Diego Bulldogs shouts on my Bulldogs they're still going strong you know greatest group of guys you know that i got coached by and i played with i was able to travel to las vegas played a game there played a game in san jose so it was fun and then i was playing uh 
I was playing outside linebacker because they already had a free safety. And then, uh, <laughs> so yeah, first game we played the, uh, for my semi pro, we played against the Rhinos. And, uh, oh yeah, before all that, man, I bought, I bought a helmet for, uh, for Arizona Christian. Nice, uh, shut air XP. Bought a visor. Oh man, some new gloves. And some new uh, Nike Vapor cleats, all white. I was ready. Put the put the new face mask and all that because all Arizona Christian at the time, they only had uh, Zenith helmets, and I didn't like the Zenith helmets because uh, I used the Zenith helmet, Zenith X1, when I was at uh, when I played for the prep school. Quotations, and I had. Like every time somebody would hit me helmet to helmet, I would just get horrible headaches after the game. Like my eyes would be bloodshot red just due to all the head damage. So I was like, I'm not getting the Zenith. It's not for me, Chief. So I bought an Air XP helmet, got a visor with it. Man, new face mask. Cause it was a, it was matte black helmet and red face mask. So I was ready, and then found out I couldn't we couldn't afford to go to that school. Oh man, that hurt me. But yep, played for the Bulldogs. First game was Ventura, we were in Ventura, California, and we played the Rhinos. It was a real, it was a elementary school field, all dirt. We had we had all white jerseys. Uh, I had white leggings. It already had a small hole in the leggings, but since it was just dirt and probably rock somewhere, I think I made a tackle, and on my right knee, the hole got bigger and my knee was bloody. <laughs> so, so my knee was just in pain after the game when all the adrenaline wore out. Wore out. But I had a good game. Like I literally. Probably had a good 10 tackles because I'll just blitz down the middle, hit the running back. It was fun. It was a fun game after not playing for two years. And then I kept playing for the Bulldogs up until January of 2019. I moved back to Arizona on November 18th or November of 2018. And then I played two games January, January 2019. But yeah. Oh yeah, and you guys will see that I put some gameplay in the back of this uh, video, you know, NCAA 14, just a, you know, just something that you guys will see, made a little gameplay, I might start a, I might start a, uh, a career with that, you know, made a 5-7 linebacker, see how far I can go, but yep. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, truly appreciate you guys. You know, growing, slowly growing, and yeah, that's all it's that's all it's about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hope you guys like this video. Like the video, share it, and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, I will send 14 seventh graders. To your front door to beat you up and you know seventh graders you know they're the little amped up I'll provide them with monster energy drinks so that they're unstoppable so you better subscribe or I will send them to your home wherever you are they'll put you in a headlock they will make fun of you because seventh graders are ruthless and evil and yeah that'll be it but that'll be it for the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love you guys. And peace out.